Hey, 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 hey. Welcome back to my channel. I am so happy that you are here for this video. During this one, we are going to basically dissect a seven second video and a picture from the Summerwells case. Candace Bly, the mother of Summer Wells, says that the video or picture, we don't know which one, was taken on June 15th, 2021 at 3.09 p.m., which was also the day that Summer Wells was reported missing just three hours later, around 6.30 p.m. These are known as the milk video and the milk picture. The milk picture was first shown by Hawkins County Rescue Squad on June 15th, 2021 at 10.35 p.m. on social media. Candace shared the milk video and the milk picture with the Unmasked channel during a text interview around June 29th, 2021. Candace stated that she was driving but she wanted a picture of Summer in the back seat because Summer had her arms up like her dad, Don Wells. Since Candace was driving, she had her mother, Candace Hairer, I call her Grandma Candy, take the picture. Now, Grandma Candy allegedly took the seven second video by accident because she meant to snap a picture instead. But, they got a picture too. So I want to show you in this video. The video was taken while driving. And the picture was taken when they were stopped. And the tailgate was open. In the last 11 months, there has been so many rumors and speculation over these milk images. I'm going to show every detail that I have seen and noticed and hopefully clear some rumors up. I'm going to show differences between the video and the picture. So let's start with the video. It's only seven seconds long and it starts out with the camera aimed at Summer Wells and then pans to Candace driving and then it ends. Thanks to the channel, True Crime Rocket Science, who shared the location where they were when this video was taken, just by seeing the landmarks in the video. There was a local that is associated with True Crime Rocket Science. He drove to the location and sent pictures of the exact location and the landmarks. Candace and her mother and Summer, allegedly, during this video, they were only nine minutes away from their home at 110 Ben Hill Road in Rogersville, Tennessee. You'll see in this video, Summer's hands are both touching her right leg. You might ask, why is this important, Mandy? Well, because in the picture, Summer's right hand is on the seat due to time and gravity, I believe, which caused it to move. Now, this leads me to believe that the video was done first before the picture. As for the other things that first stuck out to me during this seven second video. Let's go ahead and review them. Starting with this freeze frame, only one second into this seven second video. So we're gonna start with the, the most obvious of Summer being on this milk. In my opinion, it looks like Summer was placed in this position. It doesn't look like she climbed in here herself and put her own seatbelt on and then fell asleep. I say this for a few reasons. First, look at the position 
where Summer's bottom is on the seat. If we rotate the picture, it's easier to see. You'll see her bottom is on the line between the middle seat and the seat by the door. And this is behind the driver's side. The doors on the driver's side open like French doors. So if someone placed Summer here in the middle seat, if they held her like a baby and leaned in as far as they could reach, this line is about where her bottom would be. Let me know what you think about this in your comment. Next, let's look at the hood of Summerwell's jacket and her seatbelt. When she was placed in this spot, her seatbelt was put on, but they moved her shoulder belt behind her to lay her on the milk gallons. Her hood was pulled out from behind her, and it's laying on her left shoulder, which supports my theory of someone leaning in from the driver's side and placing her here. In all of the pictures of Summer Wells in a vehicle, she never has her shoulder belt behind her. Never. Even in the videos of her in a vehicle, she has the shoulder belt in front of her. She's never in a booster seat of any kind that I can see, but she always has her seatbelt on her. Now, let's look down in the bottom right corner of this same freeze frame from this video. If we zoom in, you can see it looks like something white is leaning on Summer's left leg. Is this the pillow that Hunter was talking about when he said that Summer was wet, so she sat on the pillow by the door? Let me know what you think in your comment. Next, let's take a look at the lap belt. If we zoom in on that, you'll see this reddish brown stain that is halfway covered by the lap belt. This looks like blood to me on Summer's jacket. It doesn't look like Summer spilled her orange drink that's on the seat beside her in this spot because it's not an orangish color or even orangish looking. Blood is the only liquid that this looks like to me, in my opinion, allegedly. We'll look at this again in the picture. Let's slide on over here to Summer's left hand, or really, her jacket sleeve. See how low her sleeve is on her hand? Does that look like normal placement for a five-year-old's jacket to be? I would assume that if she put, had a jacket on that the sleeves were a little bit too long, that her being active and moving around would move the sleeve up on her wrist. It looks like somebody put that jacket on her when she was asleep or not conscious or not alive, possibly. Whew. Either way, that sleeve looks low on her hand, in my opinion. What do you think about that? We'll come back and take a closer look at Summer's hands in the picture also. So let's slide over here to the empty seat to the right of Summer, which is the back seat behind the driver's seat. First, we see the orange crush bottle. Then we see the candy on the seat. Now I wanna point out the color of these things. The crush bottle is bright orange. We can also see the bright red and yellow small round items on the seat that look like it could be some type of candy. If we look a bit closer, you'll be able to see something else here. It looks like it's between the part of the seat where you put your back and the part of the seat where you would sit. 
it looks like it's either silver or white. At least the part we can see. Is this a cell phone shoved in the seat crack? Is it a U-shaped bracket for securing items in the seat? Tell me what you think it is in your comment below. below. I also want to say, leave as many comments as you need to. I know that I'm sharing a ton of information in this video, and I am looking forward to reading each comment that you leave below. Let's watch this video again, but this time in slow motion. 50% speed. Ready? She still got her arm off? No. Oh. That's what I was trying to get. Now, earlier I told you that I'd show you some differences between the video and the picture. So, let's do that now. But let's discuss similarities and differences. I have the freeze frame of the very first second of the video on the left side of the screen and the picture on the right side. I have my settings set to show you the most clear, sharply defined images that I can get here. If your screen is blurry at all, touch on the gear in the top right hand side of your screen if you're on a mobile device or click on the gear at the bottom of the picture on any other device. You'll see the option for quality, select that, then select advanced and pick the highest number option that it says. This can be done on any video that you watch on YouTube so that you can watch the clearest picture possible. Okay, so first off, the most obvious similarity that most might overlook is the angle that the camera is during both the video and the picture. You can see that I have both images turned so that the top of the back seat is level. And this tells me that both were taken by the same person sitting in the passenger side seat. But, I also know that they were definitely taken at different times. Like I said earlier, the video was obviously taken while they were driving, and True Crime Rocket Science Channel had a local use the landmarks to determine the exact location that the video was taken. Candace was driving past Mural Road, while they were on Lone Star Road. Allegedly, on their way home, maybe at 3.09 p.m. Let me show you how I know that they didn't go straight home. As we've already discussed, we can tell that Summer's hand has moved. In the video, her hand is somewhat up on her right leg. But in the picture, we can tell that gravity and probably bumps from driving has made her hand fall to the seat. So let's look at the seat first. To the right of Summer in the video, we see that the seat is dark with no sunlight on it. But in the picture, we can see sunlight shining on the back seat. This means that the sun is not directly above them. This can help us determine a time frame and what direction the truck is facing. It's well known that the sun always rises in the east and always sets in the west. According to this graph, the sun would be between 3 and 5 p.m., for it to shine in this side window and hit the seat, no matter if the door was open or not. It also means that the truck is facing north to northwest since the sun sets in the west. According to the location in this video, they would have been traveling southwest, putting the sun in front of them and more on the passenger side not the driver's side. Now let me show you how I know that they are not stopped 
at the Wells house at 110 Ben Hill Road. If we zoom in on the back window of the video, we can see part of the red tote, which we can also see in the picture. Um, but in the picture, we see more of the back window area. Now I've noticed on my Android phone, when I turn my camera on, the picture frame is a larger area than my video frame on the factory settings. So this part makes sense to me. If you have an Android, try it out. Open your camera app, aim your phone at an item, slide it over to the video option, and you should see the area get smaller. Anyway, you can see just part of the red tote in the video. It looks like the sun is on the passenger side also. Now remember, this is Grandma Candy's truck that they're in, and she had a camper shell on the bed of it on June 15th, 2021. There is a gap between the back window on the truck and the window on the front of the shell. You can see these examples that I found here. It looks like the sun is shining in the gap between the back of the actual truck and the front part of the shell here between the two windows. There's also a window at the back of the shell. If we look at the picture, we can see the two windows and the red tote. If we look past the red tote on the left side of the screen, we can see a blue trash tote. If we look to the right of the red tote, we can see that the tailgate is down and that the window is up. I can tell due to the bushes that you can see here. If you look closely, you can even see the cord or wire that holds the tailgate in place when it's open. So how do I know that this picture was not taken on Ben Hill Road? Check out these aerial pictures of the Wells property around their house. Now, all of these have been taken since June 15th, 2021. Remember that blue trash tote that we saw out of the back of the truck in the picture? Well, there is not any blue trash totes on the Wells property. So where were they when this picture was taken between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. and when the truck was facing north or northwest? Leave another comment and let me know where you think they could be. Is this a possible place where Candace handed Summer over to someone? Tell me your thoughts. Okay, let's go back to comparing the video and the picture. When we look behind the seat in both images, we can see a piece of wood sticking up. We can see the end of this wood better in the picture since it's a wider frame. This has been mistaken for an arm, but it is definitely not an arm. We can see in the seat next to Summer, to the left of Summer, there is a box sitting on top of a black plastic tote with a gray lid. It looks like the box and tote are leaning against the back of the seat, meaning there's not a person in this spot holding the tote with the box on top. So I do believe that this is just a piece of wood behind the seat. Now, before we focus on the rest of the details in the picture, let's review quickly the differences that we found between the video and the picture. Summer's hand in different places stuck out the most for me. And then the sun shining on the seat was the next thing that I noticed, which helped us determine the direction of the truck and the time of day when this picture was taken. Last and most important, in my opinion, is what all we could see behind the truck 
and how we could tell that the truck was moving in the video but stopped in the picture. The blue trash tote, the open tailgate, the open window, the red tote. All of these items help us determine that the truck is stopped in the picture. Where were they? Why were they stopped? What were they doing? Let's go ahead and move on to the picture now. This is where we will focus mostly on summer. Sweet, sweet summer. Innocent summer. Let's focus on the milk gallons first. Now, I've done everything in my power to clear this picture up as best as I can to try to see any expiration dates on either gallon of milk. Unfortunately, I'm not able to see any dates on the bottom gallon. It's laying on its side, and I believe that the date is on the bottom side against the seat. I did notice this spot right here is the air bubble inside the gallon, which tells me that this milk gallon is the cloudy, clear plastic jug, not the white plastic gallon jug. We can see that it is Prairie Farms brand whole milk from the label on the top gallon. I believe the expiration date on this gallon is right here, covered by the edge of the box. After reviewing these images numerous times, it doesn't appear that we're able to see if there is any condensation on either gallon. Now, this doesn't surprise me much due to the fact that it was a high of 78 degrees in Rogersville, Tennessee on June 15th, 2021, and 3 p.m. is part of the time frame that is the hottest part of the day. I'd bet any condensation on these gallon jugs would have happened as soon as they walked out of the store where the milk was purchased. If we go with the timeline that Hunter and Candace gave us, the milk was bought at Priceless Grocery Store before 2.30 p.m. The milk was stored at the store in the fridge where the temperature is kept at 41 degrees. There is no ice in the gallons, nor was it frozen, so the condensation would not be continuous. Condensation happens when the cold item is placed in a warmer area. The, t the milk temperature would rise from 41 degrees as soon as they took it out of the fridge and then even more when they exited the store outside where it was a hot 78 degree June day in Tennessee, the hottest time frame of the day. I've heard and seen a lot of people concerned about the condensation not being seen on the milk gallons, so I wanted to be very clear and as knowledgeable as possible about the information that I'm sharing in this very detailed video. The milk had been outside of the fridge for at least 30 minutes, no matter what timeline we go with. So the condensation would be very minimal or gone by the time this video and or picture was taken. If you still have any questions or concerns about it, leave me a comment and I'll do my best to give you the most factual answer that I can. Moving on now to Summer herself. This could be triggering for some because I'm going to look at every detail that I've seen myself and some things that you all have pointed out also. So let's start right here by this top milk gallon with Summer Wells' right ear. Her right ear looks to be very purple, purplish blue, like a bruise, a new, fresh bruise. Now, most of us have had a bruise at least once in our life. What is a bruise, medically speaking? Healthgrades.com says a bruise involves small blood vessels of skin, muscle, or bone. 
A hematoma is a buildup of blood that can occur near the skin. A hematoma is worse than a bruise. Auricular hematoma is bruising or swelling seen over the earlobes. MedicineNet.com says physical trauma is the most common cause of auricular hematoma. Going back to elementary health class, we learned that skin is one of the largest organs in the human body of the human body. Due to skin being on every inch of our bodies, it's the most commonly damaged organ in accidents as well as intentional physical incidents such as the words that you see here on the screen that YouTube doesn't like for me to say. So I will say C A and P A. Stages of a bruise are normally the same for everyone. So these two examples show these stages. The color of Summer's earlobe is the color of an early stage hematoma or bruise. So what on earth happened to Little Summer on or right before June 15th, 2021 to cause her ear to be this dark purple color? Let's focus on Summer's forehead now. Both of her temple areas are darker in color. Now some of this could be due to shadowing but there are a couple specific spots that I want to focus on. Now, I'm not saying that any of these spots are bruises or hematomas, but these spots do look a bit darker to me. The first spot is right here, almost in the center of Summer's forehead, right below her short hairline. The next spot is on her left temple area between the outer corner of her left eye and her hairline. This specific spot is definitely darker. The last spot is closer to her hairline in the same area on the left side of Summer's head. If these are bruises, this would be a lot of head trauma, especially for a small 40 pound five year old baby girl. But unfortunately, we aren't even done yet. There's more details that I noticed and you all noticed about this picture that looks like trauma of some form happened before this video and picture was taken. We've been told by Summer's mother, Candace Bly, that she changed Summer from her, quote, wet swimwear, end quote, to the only outfit that she had with her, a brand new outfit, brand new, never been worn, that they got the week before. Candace said, quote, it was a suit, of course, pants and a sweater, end quote, but it wasn't a sweater. It was this zip-up hoodie jacket with matching pants. We still, a whole year later, have no idea when Candace took Summer's swimwear off since Candace has told two different stories about this. Now, I already made a video showing both of these stories that Candace told Chris McDonough during the two interviews that he did with Candace on the same day. And then Hunter also gave his version, which matched up with one of Candace's stories that she told Chris. So sometime on June 15th, 2021, Summer was changed from these wet clothes that she's wearing in this TikTok video taken on June 15th, 2021, at 12.21 p.m. and at 3.09 when the video or picture was allegedly taken. I wonder what Summer had on her feet since it looks like she has shoes on in this screenshot that I got from the TikTok video. I guess that will just be another piece of this million piece puzzle that we call the Summerwells case. Moving on now to Summer's sweet baby face. If I turn the picture like this, we can really see how much her face 
droops. Her right cheek is dramatically different than her left cheek. After reviewing many pictures on Google, this drooping appears to be a normal thing when a child is sleeping. I'm sharing a few of those pictures with you here right now. Now, it looks like Summer's left eye is open just slightly. Now, Candace said that she wanted to take a picture of Summer because she had her arms up just like her dad. And Candace wanted to take the picture because that's just what she does. Oh, she fell asleep. I was like, oh, what's she, how is she sleeping? And when I look back, because I'm driving, and I look back like this, she had her arms up like this, like her daddy sleeps all the time. Okay. So I wanted to catch that moment. Okay. You know, it was just things I do. Right. And Oh, what's she, how's she sleeping? And when I look back, because I'm driving, and I look back like this, she had her arms up like this, like her daddy sleeps all the time. Okay. So I wanted to catch that moment. Okay. You know, it's just things I do. Right. And I was like, here, Mom, hurry up, take that picture. And then she accidentally hit the video record. Okay. Instead of the picture part. Okay. So, like, did you catch it? She like, F, no, I accidentally hit the video part. That's what you get for handing a grandma the camera. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was driving, though. Okay. And I was like, did you put her arm back down? She's like, yeah. I was like, dang. And then she got a picture of her, but it, by that time, her arm was down. But her arm was up most of the time like this. Right. And we were, like, two minutes from the house when she took her arm down. Okay. I have two issues with that excuse for the milk video and picture. First, if that was the only reason, why is there the video while they were driving, which was when Grandma Candy allegedly meant to take a picture and accidentally took this seven second video, but then they also took a picture later after they stopped the truck which we just heard Candace say that they were allegedly two minutes away from their house when Summer took her arms down, allegedly. If catching Summer's arms up was the reason for any picture or video, why were there two images taken at two different separate times? My second issue is the placement of Summer's arms in both images. We can clearly see Summer's right arm is pinched between the milk and her body, her torso. So how were her arms up like Candace said? That doesn't make sense. Judge Judy always says, if it doesn't make sense, it's not true. And I absolutely agree. Let's keep moving forward. We're almost done here. So back to this picture. Now I've seen some say that they have seen specks of blood on Summer's jacket and I don't see any of these specks here but I'll zoom in and let you look. If I missed any blood specks on Summer's jacket please tell me the timestamp and the location that I missed or you can email me a screenshot and circle the specks that you see that I missed. The only spot that I can see that looks like blood, in my opinion, is right here on Summer's tummy, just below her lap belt. We took a quick look at this during the beginning of this video, and I told you we'd come back to it, and here we are. I said during that time that this doesn't look like Summer spilled her orange Fanta soda on herself. In my opinion, this spot is too dark for that. When crime scene investigators look at a bloody crime scene, they refer to blood as a reddish brown stain or spot. And that's exactly what I would call this spot. We can only see the lower part of this blood spot. The lap belt is covering the rest of it. What could cause this rather large spot? Has her jacket absorbed all of this blood from a laceration on Summer's tummy? Is it possible that Summer was bleeding from her pelvic area and her pants are saturated with blood and with the lap belt pressing her jacket against her pants, the blood has been absorbed by the jacket from her pants? Now, I know from my knowledge in the medical field and first aid, anytime someone is bleeding, 
you use some kind of cloth to press against the wounded area. And if the blood starts to soak through that item, you don't remove it. You keep layering it with more cloth. Looking at the location of this partial spot that we can see, I'd say the top of Summer's pants is under this lap belt, pressed against her jacket because of the lap belt. If we take a closer look at the lap belt, it looks like this blood has absorbed into it also. I've drawn a line along the edge of the darker area that I see on the lap belt to show you what I see here. Now, if we move to the left in just a bit, just under this lap belt right here, is this a dark shadow or is it more blood? Let me know what you think. There's many ways that this blood could have gotten on Summer's tummy. I do believe that it, it is her own blood. I believe I, I have an idea of where this blood is coming from. But I want you to tell me your theory. And I'll share my theory one day soon. We only have a couple things left that I'm going to focus on. So let's move down to Summer's hands in way more detail now than just placement, which we discussed already earlier. I showed how Summer's right hand possibly slid down the side of her right leg onto the seat, but I didn't show how her left hand looks. So let me pop the video image back up and notice on her left hand, her thumb and index finger are moved from the video to the picture. I don't believe that this was due to gravity. I believe Summer's hands and even her legs look swollen. If we zoom in on Summer's hands in both the picture and the video image, you can see how both hands have moved. If I put the video on top of the picture and line it up the best I can, we can see the right hand is moved the most. Her index finger and thumb are moved on her left hand, but just slightly. As we look at the video image over the picture like this, I notice that the blood spot looks bigger in the picture, in my opinion. And that would also support my theory that the video was done first. It shows me that the blood is Summer's, in my opinion, and that it's coming from her body, in my opinion. What do you think? This is my first time doing this layover technique of the video image on top of the picture. It's kind of interesting, right? Okay, let's remove the video now and zoom in on Summer's hands, mainly her right hand. A lot of us have noticed the dark color on Summer's nails. There's been many speculations about what this is, like dirt or nail polish. So I went to Google again and looked through many, many pictures. I was looking for hands to see if I could find any fingernails that looked like this and why. I found a few pictures of people who had posted their nails with a blue tint, but it seemed that it was due to lack of oxygen and circulation. And then I came across these pictures. Now this is a trigger warning. These are pictures of John Benet Ramsey at her home after her father, John Ramsey, carried her up to the living room. There were a few pictures of her hands due to the marking on the palm of her hand, but I immediately noticed her nails. Look at John Benet's nails. In every picture that I could find of her, she either has no polish on her nails or she has a red color. She never has her fingernails painted black, blue, or purple. John Benet was just six years old at the time of her murder in 1996. If I put these pictures of John Benet's hands beside Summer Wells' hands, what do you think? I know that there has been so much debate on if Summer is alive 
deceased, or in between. Now that you've seen this comparison with John Bonet and Summer side by side, what do you think? Okay, I have just two more things that I want to point out before we end this video. I know that this is so much to take in. I haven't ever seen anyone else go over every detail that I've discussed in this video. And I've been trying to keep this video as short as I can because I do value your time. So let's move on here. I saw a video on another channel who reviewed the back window and pointed out shapes of mainly people that they saw. I reviewed that video myself and I pointed out everything that I saw. I saw multiple faces and I'll leave the link to that video in my description box. I'm showing a couple of the shapes that I saw here. The last thing that I want to talk about is also on the window. People have said that it was raining in the video and that there's raindrops on the window, but I disagree. Here's the video. Look at all the windows. No rain, no wipers on. Now look at the back window. It does have some residue on it, but remember, I showed earlier that there's two windows here. The one on the back of the cab of the truck and the one on the front of the camper shell. So I'm sure it's not the easiest windows to clean. And that's what we're seeing is the residue. And that's it. Yay, you made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching this video. Going back to an old tradition of mine, since you've made it to this point, please leave a comment and use the hashtag SSSquad, just as you see on the screen right here. That lets me know that you made it all the way to this point. <laughs> And that's all I have for this video. I'm sure that I missed something or left something out that I wanted to show in more detail, but if that's the case, I'll leave details in a pinned comment. Did you see something that I didn't show or discuss? Please leave a comment and tell me all about it. Did you learn anything new? I hope so. I've put a lot, a lot, a ton of time and work into making this video to help in any way that I possibly can. Summer Wells deserves justice, and I won't ever stop until she gets it. I would love to see her found also. Now I have a couple more videos that are in the works for Summer. I'm almost finished with a video where I go into great detail about the difference between a spirit box session and a psychic reading. And I walk through each step that I take to do both. But they're two totally different things. So please don't miss that one. And I'm also working on a couple other things. So please make sure that you're subscribed and ring and ding my bell so that you don't miss those. I promise you won't want to miss those. I love all of my squad so much. And I'm so thankful that you're here. I know that some of our squad has vision impairment and appreciate all the details that I share in my videos, and I definitely tried to keep you in mind while I was making this video. Thank you so much for being a part of our super amazing squad. Please smooch the thumbs up, and until next time, I love you bunches. No. Oh, that's what I was trying to catch.